When you use the word momentum, what does it mean to you? The term momentum is often used figuratively in examples of sports when a commentator might say that a football team has momentum going to the second half of the game. The football team with momentum is on a roll and would be hard to beat. Or it might be when a long freight train is speeding past you at the station. You say that the train has lots of momentum. You wouldn't want to stand in front of it. When we use the word like this, we're describing a mass as being on the move, and the more momentum something has, the harder it is to stop. In physics, linear momentum refers to a mass in motion or moving mass. It is a quantity that is defined as a product of an object's mass and its linear velocity. The quantity momentum has a symbol of the lowercase p, which may have come from the Latin word peter, which meant impetus a word used to describe momentum in Newton's time. Because momentum is a product of mass and velocity, then its unit is also derived from the units for mass and velocity and is equal to kilograms meters per second. Unlike force or energy, there is no shorthand unit for momentum and we have to stick with the long unit of kilograms meters per second. Consider a baseball catcher who is about to catch a fast moving baseball. As the ball has mass, and velocity, then it has momentum. Imagine that the baseball, which has a mass of 145 grams, is moving with a velocity of 50 km per hour, then what is the magnitude of the ball's momentum? When the mass of the ball is 145 grams, or 0.145 kg, and its velocity is 50 km per hour, or 14 meters per second, then the magnitude of the ball's momentum is 2 kilograms meters per second. When the catcher catches the ball with his mitt, he'll certainly feel this momentum. In catching the ball, the catcher needs to apply a force to stop the ball, but the catcher will feel the mitt being pushed back by the ball before it stops. This pushback is a transfer of momentum from the ball to the catcher. The more momentum the ball has, the more the pushback. So if the ball's velocity is increased, then its momentum increases. Conversely, if the velocity is zero, then the ball has no momentum. Now consider that instead of being a baseball, it's a bowling ball with a mass of 7 kilograms. So what's the magnitude of the bowling ball's momentum? You would not want to catch a bowling ball moving at 50 km per hour with such momentum. Its momentum is 50 times that of the baseball. Such momentum will surely knock you over. Now consider that the bowling ball is only moving at 1 km per hour. Then its momentum is about the same as that of the baseball moving at 50 km per hour. In these examples, they show that both the object's mass and its velocity is important in determining momentum. This is why fast-moving projectiles like bullets are so dangerous. While they may have small masses, they are moving very fast and so carry a lot of momentum. So momentum is a product of mass and its velocity. Mass is a scalar quantity, but velocity is a vector quantity. The product of a scalar with a vector is also a vector. So momentum is a vector. This means that momentum must be described with both a magnitude as well as a direction, just like velocity or acceleration or force. The direction of the momentum vector is the same as the direction of the velocity vector. So if a car was driving along a coastal road in a northwesterly direction, the momentum vector also points in the northwesterly direction. The vector characteristics of momentum is very important as we shall see in the subsequent videos. In summary, momentum describes moving mass, or mass in motion. Linear momentum, or momentum for objects moving in a straight line, is equal to the product of its mass and its linear velocity. The unit for momentum is kilograms meters per second and momentum is a vector quantity.